guys, I'm Jeff the Homestead Dad, and welcome back to the Homestead. Today, I am in the mobile homestead, the RV, and I'm installing a water filter. So, last year when we went on our trip, we brought gallons of water like this, we brought some of the bigger ones that are like two and a half gallons, and we took them with us everywhere. And it's just a lot of weight. I think we've probably had 10, at least 10 of the two and a half gallon ones. So if I do math on camera, that's 25 gallons times eight ish pounds, looking at what, 200, ga 200 pounds. Um, and when really you'd like to take as little weight as possible when you're going places so you get best gas mileage and all that stuff. So this year, <clears throat> now that we have an RV, my plan was, sorry, you guys aren't gonna be able to see me. Um, my plan was to put a reverse osmosis system uh, under this faucet. But reverse osmosis either has three or five filters. It takes up quite a bit of space. So instead, I'm going to put this filter with this housing. Uh, it will go underneath there. And then I filter the water as it comes out of the spigot before it comes into the RV with a filter that's about this size that attaches to the hose, the water hose. And then I'll use this filter here and we should be having great drinking water. So the, the, the whole process for this should take very little time. I'm going to turn the camera around, take you underneath the sink and show you how it should go. Okay. So we are under the cabinet. You can see I've got a towel down here. There's not a whole lot of space underneath here, which is one of the other reasons that I went with this smaller form factor filter. Um, it comes with this sticker right up here. Um, so I placed that where I want it. I'm going to put the two screws up there, screw those in there. And then pretty much you can see where the cold water hose is right there in front of us. Uh, disconnect that, put the supply line in one side of the filter housing. So it goes in, in, out the out, and then we should have filter water. So. Let's go ahead and get the screws in here. Okay, it comes with these two screws. Let's see if I can actually get these in here. There's one. And I made sure that these screws did not go behind or through the wall here. So. Now that those are in here, we'll test and make sure that this fits perfect. So that's exactly where it should be. If I ever need to take it down, I've got space. Let me go ahead and get this put together. This is the cold supply line. I don't know if I can, yeah, loosen it with my hands here. So this goes to the sink. Let's see how much water we've got here. I tried to drain it all out. The, pump is off so that should be all the water we have coming out of here okay so this goes this is our out of the filter so I think I'm going to need the adapter for this it comes with an adapter where did the adapter go <clears throat> So, I need this adapter right here. Uh, I'm actually going to put some Teflon tape on this before I screw it on there. So, let me do that quick. Okay, so I put the Teflon tape on. I've got the adapter on the hose now. So, I should just have to get this started and on here. Maybe, maybe I should have put this on here first on the hose. Okay, I just put this on finger tight. I'm gonna do it the other way. I'm gonna put this on here first and then put the hose on. So let's see, does it feel like it wants to start? There we go. Okay, finger tight. And 
second finger tight. Okay, so this is going to go into the out of the water filter and this just pushes in and it's just a pressure fit. So that's in there. Now let's put the adapter, I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna put the Teflon tape on and we'll put the supply in. So Teflon tape on here. This is gonna go in here. I'm probably gonna need to tighten all of this up with a wrench, but for now, finger tightening everything. Then we'll go ahead and put the pipe in. This then goes on here. I'm gonna turn the whole pipe, so that's gonna take a second. Finger tight. This goes in the inside of this. So it says in on this side, push it in. I'm trying to do this on camera, half blind. And then I hang it up here and we're hung. Now I can turn the water on. Okay, I'm over here at the master panel. I'm going to turn the water pump on and the pipe down here shook a little bit but I don't there's no massive leaks or anything I dried off all of the hoses before I turned the water on let's go ahead and run a little bit of water so I've got this is my next job I'm gonna be putting uh, some extra seat belts in so water's running, that's hot and cold. Okay, so I'm gonna have to purge, I'm gonna have to purge the tank for a while in order to uh, uh, prime the filter and get it ready for drinking. So, sorry, you guys probably can't see me at all. Uh, any better? Probably not. Um, so let me go ahead and do this. I'll be right back. Well, it says to flush the water for five minutes. I'm not sure we have enough water in the freshwater tank for that, <clears throat> but we're going to flush it for as long as we can. And if I've got to fill up the freshwater tank again, we'll do that. Once I get it flushed, I'll do a drink test and see how it tastes. So I'll be back in five minutes. Okay, the five minute flush is over. Um, I'm going to do this with one hand, putting our cup down in here. That should be enough. No smell. Tastes like water. Now, I don't tell I don't taste anything, to be perfectly honest. Like Yeah, I don't taste anything. We're used to uh reverse osmosis water. Our last house had reverse osmosis. Here we've been using the uh the pitchers with the filters in it. This tastes similar. So this should save us from having to go and buy gallons of water or bring gallons of water with us tastes good to me um, what we will have to do is make sure that we have enough water in our fresh water tank in order to flush the toilet and make water while we're traveling until we get to the next place so if we disconnect from one place we can put some you know put 20 gallons of water into our fresh water tank have that for flushing the toilet washing hands making water at the sink for drinking until we get to the next place that we're camping and then we can hook back up and we'll be good to go. So, but that's pretty awesome. We don't have to carry a, hundreds of pounds of water this summer. So thank you so much for watching. Honestly, I'll put a link in the description below. They've got a bunch of different filters that you can put into this uh, same filter housing. So you can filter it more or less depending on what your need is. Um, I will probably use this one for a while, but maybe even get the one that filters it down to smaller particles. But for now, this is gonna work great. Uh, like I said, it took us 15 minutes, 20 minutes, and five minutes of that was flushing the water. So super easy. You could do this at your house. You could do this, you know, at your, if you drink water out of your bathroom sink and you want it a little bit more filtered, you could do that, whatever you need to do. So thank you so much for watching. God bless you and your family. If you have questions, leave them in the comments. Otherwise, I'll see you guys in the next video. Yeah, buddy.